Welcome back everybody. It is time for another little toy review. We just had the brand new drop from Godby. Super excited about it. Some really, really cool figures in here. We've got a little return from the black light reactive paint on these molds, which is gonna be super awesome to test under the light. Xeno Glow and Galactic are the two different color modes that we'd be looking at for the figures. Let's open it up, let's check them out. But remember, if you enjoy the Glios content or these toy reviews, make sure to hit a like on the video, make sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for more of these. All right, let's get the box out. Now, I did get every figure from the drop with the exception of the Xeno Glow Mushi, the regular mold of it, because it comes included with all the big, huge, crazy set, which uh, I just couldn't afford. So we have to settle for just the regular Xeno Glow Mushi to check out the, the blank version, which I did end up getting before they started selling out of those. We got some greens. We got some nice translucents. Oh, man. What to start with? What to start with? Well, we got a lot more of the Galactic, so let's start there. I absolutely love the look of these guys. It's got that nice teal blue on it. Let's open it up. Check it out. We're going to start with uh, this boy right here, our little Mushi buddy. Let's get him out. Of course, we got our extra little bug head included. And then we also have our little buddy here, a little cute little dude. Look at him, looking sharp. Now let's check out the Mushi Man himself. Look at that. Look at that teal blue. It looks so sharp on this nice glitter translucent. I love the glitter too. This is the galactic one, the galactic Mushi. Looking fire, looking excellent. I forgot to grab, oh shoot, I forgot to grab my little black light flashlight but we'll check that out in just a second he looks really sharp i love the look and the glow of this guy uh it's you know i, I really am a fan of when they throw in the glitter on these translucents it's really sharp really fun i feel like that's something that is getting brought back slowly into the glass verse i feel like we haven't seen that in a little bit all those nice little glitter molds and things like that we just recently had that nice geodraxis drop the cool little glitter additions in there as well it was a really pleasant surprise from Geodraxis to kind of put that in and it looks like the other creators are possibly taking note and I am a fan because come on that just looks incredible looks super sharp I love it just you know basic silver little glitter going on there but it looks really good really really good these Mushis man they're so slick I love it and I, I got a lot of extra this time too for for building because I've been getting into some building stuff over here if you can see let's get these guys Oh man, it's a little teaser. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to be posting him this week at some point. So go check out my Instagram right here. Go follow me there. I do a lot of uh, really cool photography for the Glios. It's one of my extra hobbies, which I have too many of, but I do love doing it a lot. You'll see all the nice shots of these guys as well on there. Can I reach my flashlight? Okay. All right. I got my little flashlight here. I don't know how good it's going to look because we have all the lights on, but let's just check it out. Oh, you can see it. You can see it a little bit. Check that glow out. Oh, excellent looking. That is so cool. A really sharp reactive glow, especially with that translucent. It just fills the whole body of this guy. As you can see, it looks really sharp, really clean with that. I got to get some like just actual lights for my shelves of the nice black light because I think it's well worth it to have these guys light up at uh, nighttime or something. That would just be really sweet. Oh, oh, even yeah, even him, even him. We got our little buddy here glowing nice and bright with the reactive, really sharp. Awesome. Okay, so I did get an extra one of these Mushis. Very nice. And did I get one of the blanks? I did get one of the blanks. I kind of forget what I order sometimes because I'm just in a, a frenzy to get these order ins <laughs> before things start selling out. I do want this blank out though. So let's get him rocking. I'm not going to worry about putting in his little headpiece, but there's the blank. You can see it's just missing the little highlights of that teal blue, which is okay with me. There's it all lit up in the blanks. I'm going to use this one for extra parts and do kind of a swip mash, mish mash, swippy swap with this one and the Xeno Glow, which we're going to look at in just a minute. Let's keep moving on. We're going to look at the Nemesis figure for the Galactic because he just looks phenomenal as well. Let me get him out and build him up really quick. Oh yeah. Some extra bits and pieces. We've got the cool bug head that I usually never use, but I would love to do a build with this one. I think it just looks really sweet. I just don't really prefer it on the Nemesis build. I know it fits pretty well, but I kind of want to just use these for something else. I don't know what yet. Nemesis, look at him, man. So slick, so cool. I love how all the horns have that nice blue on there. The nice teal blue, again, very similar to the Mushi, same paint thing, everything. We've got the glow going on. Check that out, right? That is 
So cool. I love how his face lights up too. That's so unique. So cool. I love this. I love these black lights. They're so cool. How many times did I just say cool there? I have no idea. That is ridiculous. Sharp looking nemesis figure. And then I just saw over here too that I actually didn't get the blank of him, this nemesis. I just ended up getting a second one of the normal paint job one. I think my plan was to swip swap with this guy into one of the Xenos. So I didn't get one of the blanks, but obviously the blanks are just gonna be missing that nice teal blue, but really sharp one. We do get that extra little horn piece you can stick wherever. I'm excited to build with these guys. I think they're gonna look dope, kind of mishmash together, like I said. So let's put this extra one to the side since we've already seen it. We don't really need to look into it any further. I will show kind of the custom build that I'm planning on doing at the end. Let's look at the other Nemesis though. We've got the Xeno Glow here, the Nemesis Xeno Glow, a really sharp kind of neon green, and you'll just see how crazy neon it gets once we shine that black light on it. But let me tear into this guy and set him up. Boom, the Xeno Glow Nemesis, looking slick, looking clean. I love this green. This thing is ridiculously sharp. I love it. It's kind of like a faded neon green too, so it's not obtrusively hard on the eyes, I would say. Um, the only thing that I am a little bit disappointed in with the Xeno Glows is we only really get a highlight of an extra color here in the black. This is the regular figure. I wish we had a little bit more detail like we did on the Galactics. Why aren't, why isn't the chest piece painted black? Why do we not have the horns painted black? If we're getting the regular figure, I mean, he's only one little dollop of paint away from being a blank, unfortunately. That would be my biggest critique of this Xeno one, is I, I really wish there was some spots, more spots of paint on the figure itself, like the Galactics at least. Uh, maybe even not a black, maybe a different color or something. I don't know. I just think it's missing something. It looks very much like a blank with just a little detail on the face. You can see that is kind of the same thing that's going on with the bug head too. We've just got that nice detailing on the eyes, of course, which always looks sweet. And of course the face looks great on this guy, but it just looks like a blank, unfortunately. It really does. And we're gonna look at that again in a second with the blank Mushi Xeno Glow, because of course, like I said, the other, Zeno, the other Mushi, the regular one with the face uh, painted, just was in the more expensive set that I couldn't afford this time around since I spent so much money on the Onel drop. But again, I knew I wasn't really missing out on much seeing as the blank only was missing like paint on the face and that was about it. I, I would say that is my critique of this one. I wish there was a little bit more detail on this figure, but let's go ahead. I'm not gonna complain too much. Let's check out that glow. There we go, that black light awesomeness from the figure. Let's get him standing up here. We'll just take a closer look at how he looks when he's lit up with the black light. Again, he's really gonna shine quite a bit in darkness and it looks really cool, but you can see how it just, makes them light up like crazy. It's kind of this matted neon green. And I like the look of these when it's uh, kind of this matted black light reactive type thing. And it just looks really sharp. This nice neon highlight, you can see just how much it just makes it glow at night too. It's, it's gonna be ridiculous. I'm gonna have a couple night shots too on the Instagram of how they look with the reactive if you hadn't seen it yet. A really cool figure. I'll, again, I love the reactive stuff. I think it's a sweet little thing as long as we get some extra paint on this guy. All right, but let's look at the last figure here. We've got the unpainted Geno Glow Mushi. So let's get him out. Again, we are only really missing a splatter of paint from the figure itself on this, which is why I just saved a few bucks and got the blank and didn't worry about the regular Mushi, especially because I was planning on taking the other Mushi of the Galactic and just combining it with him, I think. Here he is, let me get the horn on. All right, the horn's on, but we gotta look at our little buddy here. He's kind of hard to see with this kind of green a little bit, but yeah, these guys are sweet. I do like these guys, I dig them a lot. I love that I have so many of them now. I've got like a ridiculous amount of those dudes. They come with every Mushi you get, which is, it's its own little Cray Boothy type thing. I've always been a fan of those guys. I forget what they're called though. Can never remember for some reason, but here we go. Here's the Mushi, that little glow Mushi, very sharp. Again, the green, I'm a huge fan of the green. That's why I think it's gonna look really cool if I break apart pieces and combine it, which I'm hoping to do in this video. Hopefully I have time before I have to release this thing. But a really nice, sharp looking green figure. Again, this is the blank on the actual painted. Maybe I'll show a comparison of what the painted looks like versus 
but you're not missing out on much and yeah so that's why i just went with this guy let's glow him up let's get the glow up going you can just see how nice and shiny this guy looks in that black light a little bit just a little bit again these um uh, these glow nicely with the reactive black light all the galactics these really need a dark space to really come to their full potential for their nice uh, reactive material that's been painted in stand up all right there we go there's our mushi looking fresh very cool a very solid looking green figure oh we lost the focus there we go bang good one a very good one and i'm excited to play around with these guys this was kind of my wave to just grab some extra parts and extra bodies because i've been really itching to do building with the glios and i don't have a lot of body parts so this guy was a great addition and so was the nemesis and stuff just to get some extra little base body parts to go with and kind of build off of okay here's what i did really quick with mix matching up the two mushis this is kind of what i was thinking kind of just taking the parts put them on each other making a cool little vibe with that green and translucent glitter i think it came out really sharp actually i'm really really digging the one on the right here i think that one looks the best honestly but they both look really sweet i will probably do the same thing with the nemesis figures as well so stay tuned on the instagram again lockdown 51 for updates on that i'll probably post them on there there's one last look of the wave here of what i purchased and again just a nice last look of everything that we got here's it hit with the black light one more time Guys, make sure to go support Marty the God Beast right up here. Go to his store. Check out all the figures. There's still a lot left. He provides plenty for all the fans to make sure they can get some. So go support him. He deserves it. He's an awesome guy. And this is a great little wave. I'm in love with the Galactic. I do want to kind of take away a little point here for the little paint not kind of matching up to what the Galactic's holding with these Xeno Glows. So I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I still really dig these Galactics, though. They look amazing. So go support the creator. Go support Marty the God beast right here once again this is an awesome little wave he did and i can't wait to see what's next with these as well i mean come on marty if you're watching where are armivores in these colors a galactic armivore you haven't done those in a minute right where are those armivores give me some colors of these guys in armivores that'd be ridiculously awesome i love my armivores too much i'm sorry that's gonna do it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed that one god beast always has some really incredible products that he's pumping out all the time so again go check out his site i can't wait to do more of these drops glaus is in such an innovative place right now with lots of new stuff coming out all the time so it's a phenomenal time to get into the hobby if you want to check out some of all the cool figures that you've been seeing and i'm just excited to find out what's next second reminder to subscribe leave a comment down below tell me what your favorite color was from this little wave and make sure to stay tuned for more glios and toy review content crazy bones and tcg openings we got it all here on the channel and you're not going to want to miss it have a great rest of the week we will see you guys on wednesday in the next video